we are approaching the end of the month of May. And in all honesty, we basically had to throw daily news through the window because there's so much happening in the world of travel. And just as soon as there was a big break in story, we were ready to feature it. In the middle of that came another and another and another. In this particular episode, we're going to see how many different breaking stories we can go through. We're not even going to segment them. It's happening in the world of cruise travel. It's happening in hotel business. It's happening in the world of um, new restrictions and released restrictions and uh, too much to tell for you just to get an overview here but stick around and remember if you have not yet subscribed to our share fantastic travels and resorts limited youtube channel you should this is where we dissect the information happening that will impact your travel the most so before we get into this go ahead click that subscription button click the notification bell and open up hover over that notification bell and select all so you will be able to get all our videos in popular jamaican vernacular there is a saying that is a something a common and nothing a go and we want to start out by talking about what's coming and the big 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 news for a lot of us is that in one go sandals resorts international have announced three brand new resorts in jamaica where do they get all this creativity but i tell you let's start the way i see it now for those of us who have been around for a while we would know that sandals duns river was the flagship property for sandals resorts international way back i would say in the mid 90s and um certainly i remember in 1997 while expectant i visited that property beautiful property and the service was just a plus well that property changed hands and another brand took it over jewel resorts and of course playa being the parent company took over management not too long ago well the big news is and i want to call this revenge buying sandals came back and they purchased this property now you might wonder revenge buying why would i say that well they had a management contract and uh, being a product that they had poured a lot of love and attention in i can only imagine that they probably had an eye open for it because business people intuitively seem to know when things are going to come on the market and uh, this covid might have been the catalyst the owner sajikor decided to part ways with their partner and release their sales stock in that brand and with that the two properties that were under the jewel brand in the parish of saint anne became available for sale and like any good corporate enterprise sanders was there at the rescue so the jewel duns river is now sanders duns river once more but if you've got good, you might as well get better. And that's what Sandal seems to know best. And so that bit of land just to the right of Sandal's Duns River has now been fenced off. And I can only imagine the dynamic structure or the water paradise based on what the mock-up drawings are showing is going to be right there under the ban of sanders royal duns river a water lovers paradise we'll have images for those for you and so coming in 2023 we will see sanders duns river once more available 
for those who just love all things sandals and sandals royal duns river will be open in 2024 now on the heels of this of course the jewel runaway bay property which incidentally given you a little bit of history and dating myself was the jamaica jamaica property this was the happening hotel in saint Anne for so so many years going back to the days when my father now deceased used to hang out and so he would talk about this property as well the persons who are now baby boomers they will have grand stories to tell you of the jamaica jamaica property it ultimately was in the hands of the then iconic brand super clubs which has basically disappeared from the jamaican landscape hmm. look how things change and so sandals will have their third beaches property in jamaica and now we will have the benefit of an amazing family oasis right there halfway between their two properties sandals well beaches negril and beaches utrius so we're looking forward with bated breath for that word on the street official news suggests that it will be gutted and up from the rubbish shall rise something so unique that we will be with bated breath waiting to experience all that that new beaches in jamaica will afford us now norwegian cruise lines we had a whole lot of excitement we were all jumping through hoops talking about home porting finally we we're getting a ship they were open for booking it was right there on their portal we had three groups locked in for september and october we were on a roll norwegian joy sailing from jamaica and then the big news it was no longer sailing from jamaica so norwegian cruise lines upon the word of the cdc permitting sailing to alaska and a shelving or a timeout of the rule that says that you need to touch another country if you are doing sailings from one u.s city to another jones act basically that has been put on the back burner at least to 2022 and so norwegian has suspended or cancelled eight itineraries on eight of their vessels and of course the jamaican sailing of the norwegian joy has been impacted so we do know right now that the bliss will be sailing in alaska and we know that at least another ship will be up there in alaska with her the news out regarding the cancellation for jamaica it kind of just slipped in silently and um I am not seeing any reaction from the Jamaican tourism entity. They are talking about home porting. They are exploring the benefits of home porting, but they have gone rather silent on the Norwegian Joy's sudden exit before entry into the Jamaican marketplace big blow big blow on an economic front for so many who were excited and gearing up big blow for those who wanted to have the benefit of sailing from jamaica on a world-class vessel i was really very impressed seeing that norwegian had chosen to put her newer ship one of the newer ships breakaway plus ship to sail from jamaica but then of course there are those who argue that this could have just been a ploy to force the hand of the cdc because all other considerations aside the terminals the infrastructure the site the setup that have been already secured paid for millions spent in miami in north america in florida it's going to be very, very challenging, to say the least, to move 
all of those operations into the Caribbean, knowing that you have your infrastructure sitting there just wasting away. So strategic decision, business people do what business people do best. They make business moves. And of course, the discussion continues. Do North Americans, namely Americans, want to fly international to go and have a Caribbean cruise? Wherever you are in any of those 50 states of the US, you can do a domestic flight or you can drive. And so technically, you're really not leaving the country. You aren't to join your vessel. Now, flying internationally is a totally different thing. And with COVID on the horizon and all of the, what that brings, it makes good business sense, particularly when you're coming back from a pandemic, you want to be on top of your game. You want to have everything as seamless as possible to operate. And of course, as we talk about Miami, Governor DeSantos has made some statements that we're watching to see how it will play out. Because as we're talking about Norwegian and talking about CDC, the idea is 98% of the clients or 95% of clients should be fully vaccinated and 90. So one is 98 and one is 95. Let's get this straight. 98% of clients sailing should be vaccinated, leaving those two percenters who for medical reasons cannot receive a vaccine or children who are not eligible to be vaccinated would take up the shortfall. However, those percentages must be maintained slavishly. 95% of crew, which is something that Norwegian and all the cruise lines would have control over, must be vaccinated. However, the spoke in the wheel is what Governor DeSantis has pointed to, stating that no one should be mandated to indicate their vaccination status from Florida. So we're waiting to see how that is going to pan out. There's so much more happening in the world of travel and there needs to be a part two on this video for sure. So we will have to convene once more. You will need to come right back to this butcher, Fantastic Travels and Resorts Limited to hear what else is going on. Region 7 Seas, what's going on with Carnival, that brand new port that they have there in Port Canaveral, that terminal building that is over a year old but is virgin, has never been used. Uh, so, so much we need to talk about virgin ah, voyages over in Britain, all oh, the virtuosa. We need to be talking about so many things that's happening. We haven't even started on the land-based tours, the Amtrak vacations that's going crazy all across North America. We need to be talking about Eurorail and how Europe is waking up to a wonderful summer. So much to talk about. Come back and join us right here at Share Fantastic Travels and Resorts Limited. And do not forget, we have amazing sales, amazing deals going on right now. You need to touch base with us right away to get the latest deals, deals, scoops, and benefits. You know, we're all about the fun. Ciao for now.